Hey guys, as talk season is around the corner, I wanted to uh, share with you one of my favorite rigs that I use for talk fishing, and that's the uh, single hook T rig. The reason why I like this uh, rig is because I've done very well fishing for talks, um, and it is very simple um, to tie as well. So uh, stay tuned and let's check it out. What I'm using today here is a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. In this case, I'm using a Yuzuri brand uh, fluorocarbon leader. For talk fishing, I usually don't recommend going less than 30 pounds, or my favorite is usually anywhere between 30, 40, or, or 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. So, what I have here is about uh, six feet of fluorocarbon leader. Um, I usually start uh, by making a loop for the uh, sinkers first, and I'll, I'll take about and approximately eight inches. Um, just make a, a loop as such. Twist that around twice. One, two, and pull. There we go. So now we have our loop here for the sinker uh, depending on what size sinker you'll be using you can always uh, size the loop accordingly uh, i usually like to make a slightly larger loop just in case i'm using heavier sinkers um, so since i have a loop here just cut it back in all right now that we have a nice loop here for a sinker what i'll do is i usually go up about six to eight inches and start a loop as such creating a loop about nine inches long like this there you go and once you do so i'll take this loop it over and then twist it about six times one two three Four, five, six. All right. Now we have it about six times, and we're just going to pull it gently. Now, one thing that you want to make sure is before pulling this uh, nut tight, uh, you want to make sure that this is moistened uh, properly first uh, to avoid any weaknesses in the fluorocarbon line so you may either use a saliva but in this case i'll be using a i have to have a, a wet towel here all right so let's pull this tight let me pull this nice and tight make sure that it's not as nice and tight All right, so here we are. Here we have a, a nice tight knot. Put about eight inches of uh, loop. Okay, now that we've created our first knot and about a loop of eight inches, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab each side of the main line. Let's Loop it over each other. All right. And what we're going to just flip them about six to seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's almost like a, a drop a loop. All right. Once you made a loop, what you're going to do is pull the loop the main loop and the knot, the first knot, through the opening. But what you want to do is don't pull this knot way out of the opening. You want to, you want to keep this knot as close as possible to the main line. And what you'll do is start pulling this tight. All right. 
Um, here again, it is very important that you keep this moist before timing this up. In this case, um, I will be using uh, a moist towel again. All right. Now that I have this wet, I can pull this slowly tighter. Now, when you're pulling this tight, you definitely want to make sure that this knot here is as close as possible to the main line. You don't want any play because you want this to be a, a nice, perfect T-knot. Right, so let's see how it's perfect and nice and tight um, before you pull it completely tight. So, all right, let's do this. Okay. All right. And now you see, we have a beautiful, perfectly shaped T-knot. Yeah. And a loop. You have the main line here, a T-knot that comes out. Very loop. And we have the loop for the sinker. Bottom. All right, now that we have a nice T-knot with about an eight inch loop, Next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take this loop and cut one side of it as close to the knot as possible. There you go. Now that we cut the loop, you'll notice that we have a much longer line for the hook in compared to the sinker line. Now this is very important for talk fishing because um, talks usually feed off the bottom uh, so you want the the hook to be much longer than the sinker line check it out now one of my favorite hooks to go for talk fishing is the gamagatsu 40j hooks which is the perfect size for talk fishing um, to insert the hook what i'll do is i'll take the the hook line insert it in the eye go past the uh, the circle of the hook about I don't know, four to five inches. Loop it back up. And then pinch it. And then go around a few times around the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now you take the tag end and go to the bottom loop of the hook. And pull it. Pull the main line. Make sure that line is tight and tight and hook. There you go. Right. Once that's tight enough, all you have to do is cut the remaining tag end. And there you go. As you can see, the T-nut ensures that the, uh, the hook line is pushed away from the main line, which helps avoid any tangles. And the reason why I like this single hook uh, T-nut rig is because it's as natural as possible underwater. As you can see, my hook line is about 4 inches longer than my sinker line, which is very important because you want your bait to be sitting at the bottom when you're dog fishing, because that's where dogs are feeding off. Uh, one thing you also want to prevent is, uh, yes, uh, usually I like to keep my hook line about 4 to 6 inches maximum longer than the sinker line. Anything longer than that, in my experience, prevents you from feeling the bite. Uh, you, you all know that talk bites can sometimes be very subtle. So making the hook line too long uh, can also prevent you from feeling the bites at all. So uh, I recommend keeping a maximum 4 to 6 inches longer than the, than the uh, sinker line. Thank you for watching my video guys. Please like, subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you think about this rig if you're using it as well or if you have any recommendations. I always appreciate your comments. Thank you again.